All right, guys, it has happened. A new Diablo Immortal clan has been crowned. In this video, I am going to give you a first person perspective of what it's like to become a Diablo Immortal. We're gonna go over the story elements. We're gonna go over day one of being a recruit. Now, heads up, this is a three day process that will take you through kind of mini tutorials going over all the features of being an immortal and over these three days that I will cover over three different videos I'm going to show you what it's like to be an immortal to see if it's worthwhile uh, your efforts to become one my name is Leroy this is Leroy gaming if you're interested about the immortal pathway this is the video for you if you're interested about learning about the shadow clans and all the features of that functionality make sure to check out my extensive guide to the shadow clan that will be popping up as a link now let's go ahead and take a look at what it's like when you become an immortal and your very very first steps towards becoming a fully anointed immortal All right, guys, before we get started really heavily here, I want to throw out, first of all, a huge shout out to the leader of my guild, Gods. That is Sage, who did a phenomenal job getting this guild together. I also want to do another huge shout out to Samael, who is basically our raid leader and an amazing communicator for the clan. And let's not forget Holy Blaze, who basically completed our Holy Trinity of top three immortals that were pivotal to winning the immortal crowns for us. Now in this video, I'm gonna have a couple of different sections. So I did wanna add timestamps. I'm gonna be beginning with showing you the actual quest line that you see. It's, it's kind of short, but it's gonna be the little quest that you get to interact with for when you actually take over as an immortal. And then we're gonna be jumping to the different sections. So if you wanna see the different features, the new area you get to go into, etc you can just use the timestamps if that helps you now finally if you didn't see my video that was posted last night i wouldn't blame you because it did get posted really late as we won this pretty late and that video will teach you how to overthrow the immortals it is from the shadow clan perspective starting with this video i have a whole new interface because we will be going from the immortal perspective none of the activities that we did as a shadow clan mean anything anymore we're starting from scratch and we have a whole new interface whole new progression as immortals and that will be all shared to you with you today all right let's start with the quick quest of the unspoken so once the countdown timer that i mentioned in my last video goes to zero you can talk to unspoken spare a moment to think on your journey and the spoils you've earned the cycle turns your contributions to this past cycle have not gone unnoticed. Consider them and be changed. Review cycle. And here are the dates, the new immortal reign. You can pause this if you'd like. All the different dates. Shows your progress. And this is cool, this, this actually shows all your personal progress. And obviously, as I record, this is 620, and I just logged on, so I haven't really done anything on 620. And it gives you a rating. So, there we go, the all-knowing. And my experience with the shadows, and you're rated. So my activity, loyalty, participation, impact, and it gives you a reward. So for me, my reward was hilts. I got 2,000 hilts for this. And I guess uh, this all-knowing rank gave me a life increase and damage increase of 8%. We'll go ahead and accept this. 
Each turn of the cycle strengthens humanity, just as the fire ushers in new growth. If you are not worthy, worthy, no worthy challenge, if you do not strive to retain your power, then it will turn quickly for you. So, you know, the price of freedom or the price of being an immortal is eternal vigilance. You got to keep fighting for it. Reflect on your hardships as much as your victory. You may return here each day to reflect, uh, for reflection for a memento. And then we're going to review our accomplishments. And then uh, it's having us uh, tap the avatar, tap open profile menu. Deeds of Valor. So here's the first thing. This is brand new. And here it is. It gives me an active badge. So the first cycle is 531 till 620. Uh, active badge 103. And I am the all-knowing. And we don't know what's going to be next, obviously. And so here's how it's broken down. So I was exceptional. So it means I was in the top 1 to 5%. If you were very good, you'd be top 6 to 40%, good, top 41 to 80%, and average is 81 to 100. This is obviously a little nice of them. So loyalty is uh, how long you've been a part of your faction. So this is important. Faction is shadows or immortals. So you could basically get invited. You know, you could jump ship from shadows to immortals or get kicked out of immortals and join a shadow. That would alter your loyalty. And so... For example, loyalty exceptional is if you spend more than 80% of your season in your faction. Obviously, that was the entire season in uh, Shadows. And a very good is 60% of the faction or more. Good is 30% and average is uh, less than 30%. So participation. So that's how much work you've improved your faction. So if you're an immortal, your prestige and battleground rank. If you're a shadow, your personal rank and battleground rank. And as an adventure, only your battleground rank. So remember, adventure is basically means you're not in any clan. Shadow is you're part of a shadow clan and part of the shadow system. And immortal if you are one of the immortals. And then you have your impact score. So this is, uh, if you're an immortal, number of days you've held your role. The role itself influences your score. Same thing with the shadows and adventures. And then participating in a uh, right of exiles give you, uh, you know, these scores. So there do note that when you participate in a Rite of Exile, everybody can participate in your clan, but you may be under reserves or you may be active. The idea is as long as you sign up, you're going to participate. You're going to get participation points because clearly, as I mentioned in the video yesterday, you're either going there's only going to be either eight slots for the first phase and then three slots in the final phase. And considering that clans, Immortal or Shadow, can only have 100 members, this means that a very small percentage will actually get to participate in those elements. But the majority, I mean, everybody in the guild is going to get most of the benefits, which is really nice. And again, same breakdown here. My camera's covering it, but exceptional is top 5%. Very good is 6 to 40. Uh, good, 41 to 80. And at the bottom, 81 to 100 is uh, average. All right, next, uh, it's going to have uh, the little story is going to have us talk to the hill trader. And so if you've been part of the shadows or just an adventure, you've probably had access to this already. I have a separate video on the Hill Trader and how useful it is, so do check that out if you haven't checked it out yet. Uh, let's see what they say. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Your reputation precedes you, friend. The cycle turns. Congratulations on your ascent. I have something perfectly suited for you. Nothing of interest. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> View exclusive special offers. So cycle turn chest. Daily purchase limit one each, and it only costs 50 hilts, which is not bad. Let's see. Take a look at this. There you go. And for me, I got Reforged Zone, so it seems a little random, whatnot. So this is new. Definitely, I did not see this before um, when I wasn't an Immortal, so I'm assuming that's new. Everything else is the same here. You do have a limited Immortal element, but you have to unlock the different uh, ranks. So because I haven't, I just logged in and started interacting with this, I haven't had a chance to rank up, but it will give you access to Sigil of Do Dominance you can buy. You're going to get, be able to uh, buy rare crests, mysterious legendary items. Um, right now, it, a specific uh, one-star gem, it looks like, that may or may not change, and an additional uh, crest. So this is important because just by being a normal individual, you can get a crest. And now if you're a mortal, you can get a second legendary crest. So you can get now two legendary crests through hilts and uh, on a monthly basis instead of one. So that's really nice. And you still have access to the same limited time offers. All right, next we're going to go ahead and talk to the historical archivist. I can't wait to see what your reign has in store. 
If you want to recruit more immortals, let me recommend inviting people right here in Westmarch. I've talked to a lot of decent ones. I know you will forge your own path in the age ahead of us. Hopefully this gift will help. Oh, I like gifts. Come rate the new cycle. You can get a gift every day you visit the Overlook for the next week. Cycle ends. Details. Remember to visit throughout the week, and I'll make sure you earn rewards befitting your deeds during this cycle. So, cycles end. New reign, and uh, our new leader, uh, our leader here is Sage, of course. And it says, for seven days, commemorate the new immortal reign of God's reign. So, our name of our clan is God. So, the, he, uh, Sage, named it God's reign. Collect daily rewards from the historical archivist in Westmarch. And so literally these are kind of unique things you're going to get if you get an immortal. Day one, we got a mysterious main hand weapon. Then we're going to get some uh, hilts. Then we're going to get a mysterious uh, legendary helm. Uh, some more hilts. Uh, rare crest. Uh, pilot gems. And uh, some more hilts. So nothing like too crazy. It's a nice little thing, but none of this is insanely like not broken or anything. You, you know, when we farm, we get a good... 6 to 10 to 15 legendaries a day. You know, the hilts are always nice as a currency. Can't go wrong, Chris. So this is, and the 6 gems is pretty cool too. So it's a nice little touch. Uh, it, literally, it's like a congratulations. We're celebrating before things are going to get crazy again. It's kind of like the, the honeymoon phase for the new immortals. So all you got to do is log in and come to the archivist to check that out. So that's for brand new immortals. All right. And then when you talk to the archivist as an immortal, you get a brand new option, immortal trials here. So again, let's take a look at what that does for us. Before you can fully embody the name Immortal, you'll need to earn the blessing of Deodessa, the one who created our order. And there are a few trials all of us undertake first. Follow the steps in this handbook, and you'll pass the trials without issue. I'm sure of it. Path of the Immortals, okay. The Immortals are eternally tested, but their honor cannot waver. Earn Deja's blessing and be anointed as one of the Sanctuary's truest defenders. Anointed Immortals, complete all the trials and you shall be anointed as a full and true Immortal. So you're going to get some gold, XP, Enchanted Dust. You're going to get your crown power. And then, I don't know, ooh, and we're going to get fancy wings for being an immortal. Yeah, this is what we're talking about right here. All right, and next we are going to go ahead, it looks like, and go into the Hall of Ascension. This is the main hangout area for the immortals, similar to how the shadow courts were for the shadows. So now we get to go through this really cool portal here and check it out. All right, and here we are. Let me give you a quick run through. You're being welcomed as a trainee of the Immortals. A cool little interface. Looks like there's three different areas to go through. I now set you against our enemies. With your victories, you will elevate us all. Begin by completing your first of many quests as an Immortal. Let no challenge be above or beneath you. All right, so we get our first mission here. All right, so it's having us check out the Wall of Honor. Now that's fancy. God's reign. So here is, let's take a look. You have this interface. I'm assuming this must be our guild leader. Yeah, Sage, yeah. So there you go. That is, uh, if you are the guild leader of an immortal, you get to be super immortalized. And so here are the founders. So Sage is at the top. And this is all the members that are part of the immortals. Um, when you join, I'm going to do a quick shout out to everybody here. So Nubs, Rama8. Dragnoth, Bags, Xmax, uh, Dark Summoner, Nona, Solo, Garelena, Misfit, Bamba Dan, King X, JKL, Dum, Dureg, Pantarosa, Leroy Gaiman, uh, Distinct, Papi V, Chloe, The Shocker, Hate, Ocean, Zhao, Sentient, Mr. Chad, Woozy, Spanx, Score, Zagatha, Jesse, Pedocar, Stonk, 
Kane, Shadow Eleven, Joey Neve, Kulals, Seraphine, Kafik, Darvaz, Nico Nikki, Blitz, uh, Eleanor, Suzu, Calico, Apollo, Cynix, Meads, Samael, Lorelion, Tarnished, Fruit Bowl Mafia, uh, Carney, Zerk, Johnny D, Sar Saren Ray, Nonstick Pan, Bessig, Mike Shima, Narva, Casella, Olivia 2018, Red Killer, Pastral, Scrizland, X, Necrophilia Liana, <laughs> Jonah, Holy Blaze, Arthurian, Iest, I Victor, Aberest, Yolo HD, Frank, Dracon, Mad Max, Kadera, Trinidamir, I Punch, It's Bala, Hera, Salvo, Zerker, Lux, Keep, Medium Rar, Patrick 26, Dawizimar, Blue Mew, Zandragal, Overkind, JJ7, Reed Void, Kimbo Slice, Anudora, Jagger Death, Sitta, Blue Rays is Dead, and last but not least, Seraphine. So again, big shout out to my Immortal Clan gods. Um, here you are immortalized in my little video. Uh, congratulations for all the hard work that we have done to get here so far. So that was the first of the four tasks, and let's take a look what else it's having us do. And it looks like it wants us to complete a challenge rift. So this is a, a standard challenge rift. I am going to go ahead and do that really quick. Uh, I'm not going to waste video on it. It's just any standard challenge rift. And we'll take a look at what is next. Okay, so now I completed my challenge rift. Um, and at this point, I want to kind of show you the new interface options you get on the left-hand side. are going to help you track the things you need to do as a first day recruit. So here are the daily goals that they had randomly selected me for the day. We had inspect the wall of honor. I believe this is just because it's your first day as a recruit. I don't think this is something you do all the time. Uh, we completed challenge rift. I did that. You don't have to complete a new one. I completed a new highest one for me, but it's just any challenge rift. So you could always drop down one if you're already kind of maxed out. I'm going to have a nice easy one here, salvage an item. And then I'm going to have one that tells me to complete the dungeon, the Mad King Breach. And so you're going to be getting a various amount of these uh, progress points for each one of these. And they're called activity points. And they're going to only uh, give you a variety of rewards. And as you can see here, your weekly activity, as you hit 210, 350, 490, and 700, you're going to get activity chests. So here, for example, when this one includes 100 hilts uh, for all of these. But also very important, this is also going to potentially unlock some other items. And one big one is called the Sigil of Dominance. And this is important because you basically use this. You're going to you're gonna see you're going to be able to turn it in and increase the dominance of your Immortal's reign. It's basically going to unlock a higher and higher score for your Immortal clan. It's going to make him be more successful and it's going to unlock more and better rewards for everybody. So this is how everybody can participate. No matter whether you're one of the top three immortals or not within the clan, you are able. To, you are a big and important part of the immortal team. Now there's also a second button here. And so this is your path to the immortals uh, progress. So it starts with recruitment. We had already visited the Hall of Ascension. Now it's having us complete the goals, the daily goals. Now do note that you want to actually accept this task from this interface. We we're already working on the daily goals, but technically we hadn't started this. So we tap that, and now it kind of helps you track. So we're two out of four for today. So at this point, I will go ahead and complete my other two tasks, the salvage and a quick dungeon, and I'll be back to show you the next step of the progress. All right, so I've gone ahead and completed the dungeon run. So let's take a quick look here. Completed all four of the goals. So we got our salvage. We got our dungeon completion. There we go. You notice we got our Sigil of Domination as well, which is nice and very, very important. Also got a Legendary Leg, so that's always nice. So it looks like you have chances at Legendary Items. Now, as a recruit, once you've completed your daily reports, now we're going to go ahead and report to the Mission Advisor in the Hall of Ascension. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so here we are back at the Mission it Advisor. It is by our deeds and our contributions that others come to rely on the Immortals. Contemplate the tasks that lie before you. 
then empower the eternal crown. What's so important about the crown? The crown is a locus for the power Deodessa granted us. All immortals share in its might. So basically, uh, when you had the, sh you were part of the shadow clans, you were kind of empowering that shadow kind of, it was, uh, I don't know, uh, like a pyre. But as an immortal, you now, as you can see here, here is the Deodessa's crown, and we're empowering that. So just basically a different focal point. And now we can go under our immortal interface that replaced the shadow interface. And we can look at the activities. And it basically unlocks the daily goals. So that right here is going to be now something you can check. Then it has a go under the rain. And now it's going to have us contribute. So this is the primary way you're going to be going up your ranks. And so contributing these specific tokens that we the dominance tokens we discussed is now going to uh, gain a dominance prestige and you're going to also get some hilts there we go attributed one and here we're going to look at dominance as you can see here as you go up your bronze rankings you're going to unlock various uh benefits so you're going to get uh you're going to get a new difficulty of keon's ordeals you're going to get uh, chests of loot. Eternal crown ranks are going to increase. It's going to improve your combat effectiveness of your all the immortals. And the immortal and lieutenant's crowns get powerful abilities. So this is mainly like the top players that play like as the immortal, for example. But again, as it's very important that they get those powers so that your clan can stay immortal. Even if you're not one of them, you want to be helping them progress to that. And you get other things like uh, cosmetics. So here's a, a bronze three, get an anointed immortal cosmetic. So that's really, really cool. Uh, and you can preview the cosmetics, for example. So this is what you look like. Uh, that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, very, very golden. So as all the previews, you can go up all the ranks. So if you guys want uh, to see a video where it shows all of this, you can let me know. And I may very well put one together because it goes pretty high. It goes all the way up to gold four. So every week you'll be eligible for commendations, a special reward. And so a uh, weekly reward here. For example, you get some money. This is not a lot of money. Um, the vault reserves, so you get some up to three items. And uh, you get health. Health are great. So love getting the health. Can't go wrong with that. And I'm going to go ahead and contribute. I think I've gotten two or three of these. So there goes. You can see we are contributing up. Now, it's interesting. This isn't showing it going up. I don't know if this is a bug or if I'm missing something, but we are supposed to uh, do this. And again, by doing the contributions, the Keons or Deals, uh, Immortal Strategy, Hill Trader, and Rite of Passage, this is telling you like how different ways to get elements are going to help with, uh, with Dominance. All right, then we go back to the Quest Advisor for the next step of the Recruits. Strengthen the immortals and you will be justly rewarded. Thus we are honed, and thus our reign stretches toward infinity. We need all our acuity, all our sharpness to break the adversary's charge. The guide to the ordeal will show you how. All right, then it's going to have us go to this NPC on the right, the guide of the ordeal. If you would epitomize the legacy of our order, behind me lies the way. When we emulate Kion's battle against the Outsiders, we are blessed, and our dominance in this world grows. Where will this portal take me? You will be taken to a trial. Only our finest warriors undertake the ordeal. There must be a sacrifice of Essentia, but all who participate can earn gifts from the Builder herself. Are you prepared to walk in Kion's footsteps, fresh one? To stand deep in pools of the enemy's blood? Speak with me, and begin. The cycle begs us to fall, like the immortals before us. But stopping the inevitable is not purpose enough. We must mirror the lives of the ancients. We're going to go and take a look at the ordeal practice. And so here's an interesting event. 
This is Keon's ordeal. Strike down four tormentors respectively in the east, west, south, and north. Your responsibility is the tormentor in the north. Steal yourself, pass through the portal, and face it. So it looks like there's four bosses. It's a 30-minute timer. And this is the practice. So it looks like this may be of... When you're doing this, it may be of other players. But uh, as you recruit, this is going to be your mission. So we're going to fight this boss. It looks like the AI on the other corner is doing this, which again, I believe, probably makes Not sense yet. that this would be with other players. And just judging that by the health, having 10 million health, it definitely makes sense like a, like a little mini raid, I guess. Multi-person multi event. That ability must recharge. Give it more time. That ability must be charged. And you can see kind of the status, how everybody else is doing. So in this practice mode, we see that uh, everybody but one of the sides is done. An auspicious performance. Stand before the Builder's image and receive the blessing you have earned. So there we go. We were successful in that case. And we're going to get the blessing. Now it's a stand near the gift that you wish to receive. The tormentors lie felled. Let those who hewed them down inherit the builder's gifts. The blessing of Deodessa shines throughout this chamber. Stand beneath the gift you desire, and it may be yours. Stand in the gleam to the north and await your blessing. Interesting. So you, there's four different ones. You can get mystery chest armor. Mystery shoulders. What the heck just happened? So I don't know if I was supposed to. It looks like I was probably supposed to stand in one of them. Did I get a blessing? I don't know if that was a mortal favor. Uh, now I do have some legendary pieces in here, but I this I don't know if that was from that. So I may have may or may not have messed that up. So if you do do this, if you watch this video and did a recruit, make sure you stand in one in those four seconds, because it looks like there were four different ones, and it probably was supposed to give you. A legendary piece of one of the side one of the options so uh i thought we were going to have more time to think about that but i guess not and then next we're going to go talk to the ordeal lady again you move a step closer now to the ideal return to the entrance and learn more before your next attempt nothing ennobles the rain more than enduring kion's ordeal it reminds us that we are guardians and what we guard against. And so now this new feature is unlocked. So here are the specific details on it. So this is opened by a mortal leaders or a lieutenant. Support up to 48 players per challenge. Limit once per day per player. And you're gonna get again, legendary crest, aspirant keys, mysterious legendary item, which I may or may not have gotten, dominance, and Daedra's best blessing. So it looks like you can definitely do this multiple times a day, but you can only get benefits from it once a day. So what we did there was a tutorial, but obviously it's going to be with immortal players moving forward. And now it's going to have us inspect the entrance. When you are ready, you will join in Kion's ordeal again. Until you are called, study the foes you will face and the lives of those you reflect. Now it's important to note, it looks like it unlocks at Bronze Age 2. We are right now at Bronze Age 1, so basically our immortal team uh, clan needs to level up. And this will unlock and we'll be able to get this. And it looks like there's multiple difficulty levels that we'll be able to unlock. So over time, uh, more difficult, better rewards. One trial is over, but you have more to accomplish. Pursue your goals in Sanctuary and infuse the Eternal Crown. 
You may find terrestrial rewards for your deeds in the land above. Now it's going to have us talk to the hill trader again. Haha, <laughs> yes. Your reputation precedes you, friend. So now we have a new thing. This is Immortal Trials here. Heard things are going decently well with our mutual friends. Nice work. I've got some special stock you might appreciate. Nothing of interest. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> and so now it teaches us the... Again, shows us... I kind of went over this a little earlier, but it talks about the exclusive elements. And again, you do need to reach Bronze 4, Iron 4, Silver 3, Gold 3 to reach these different unlocks. So here we go. We finished the new recruit stage, Phase 1. Going to get our rewards here. And so with that, this completes day one of your recruit training. So as it says here to do the next part, it's going to come up in 14 hours. So it's going to come out basically tomorrow. And I will go ahead and continue to make this guide. And I'll show you basically everything, all three steps until we get to Anointed Immortal. Now, if you found this guide helpful or entertaining and informative, make sure to drop a like and if you want to see more diablo mortal content make sure to subscribe if you have questions or comments do let me know below and thank you for all of the support i will see you guys in the next video